Hi everyone, I'm Deacon Susie and I want to talk to you today about Holy Week. This is the most important week of the Christian year. And Holy Week began with Palm Sunday and you can see behind me are the palms and the beautiful red frontal and they are still here. You may have waved a branch or um, from your yard in this past Sunday and shouted Hosanna. Now we are moving through these special days and thinking about the last days of Jesus's life. Tomorrow, we will read about the Last Supper with his friends and the altar behind me will be brushed clean and nothing will be on it. This, this is as we prepare for a very serious time when Jesus says goodbye to his friends. On Good Friday, we will hear about his death upon the cross, which is a very sad day. But on Sunday, Easter morning, we will say, Hallelujah. The Lord is risen indeed. This is a day of joy and great happiness. And some of you may even find Easter eggs hidden and have a special meal with your family. So I have a special book that I'd like to read to you now about these days of Holy Week. And I think you're going to like it. So let's begin. It's called Hosanna and Hallelujah by Dina Strong with pictures by Donald Cook. Hosanna. Once long ago, there was a day of palms. People watched, walked a dusty road. Women and men, girls and boys were all on their way to Jerusalem. Look, someone yelled, it's Jesus. People turned to stare. Far down the road, they could see a man riding on a donkey. It is Jesus, the people cried. By the side of the road, tall palm trees grew. The people ran to cut branches. The donkey bobbed with each plodding step. The people flung down their cloaks and mantles, making a soft and colorful road for the donkey to trot. Hosanna, the people cried, save us. Hosanna, the people waved their palms. The donkey lifted its head. Jesus laughed and cheered together with the people. Hosanna, Hosanna, the cheers were as loud as a thunderstorm. I love that picture of Jesus. Once long ago, there was a day of palms and Hosanna was its song. And now we're going to move to the Last Supper. And this chapter is called Remember. Once long ago, there was a night of wine and bread. All that day, Jesus and his friends had walked the streets of Jerusalem, telling stories to the crowds that followed. Now they were tired, their feet ached from the long day's work. But now it was night, a night for wine and bread, a night for singing songs, a night to remember. The friends waited for Jesus to sit down and begin the feast. Instead, Jesus knelt in front of his friends. He poured water over their hot, tired feet. He dried them carefully with a towel. Jesus, his friend said, you are not our servant. Why are you washing our feet? Remember this, said Jesus, and love one another as I love you. Then Jesus took wine and he said, drink this wine and remember me. Jesus and his friends drank the wine together. Jesus took bread and he said, eat this bread and remember me. Jesus and his friends ate the bread together. And there's a beautiful picture of Jesus and his disciples at the Last Supper. We will remember, his friends said. Jesus and his friends finished their meal, sang their songs, and then walked out into the cool night air. The moon rose over the dark hills. Once long ago, there was a night of wine and bread, and remember was its song. Now we come to the chapter, Hallelujah, where we hear about Jesus' death but also about his wonderful rising from the dead. Once again, there was a new morning, but hard times came first. In the cool night, the friends of Jesus slept. Jesus was awake. He was too afraid to sleep. Soldiers came and they took Jesus away from his friends. They put Jesus on a cross and left him there to die. The friends of Jesus came. They cried to see Jesus on the cross. They took Jesus down from the cross and they carried his body to a tomb. Soldiers rolled a large stone in front of the tomb. Night fell, the sun rose, night fell again. 
Early the next morning, before the sun rose again, three women walked to the tomb. The stone was rolled away. What has happened? The women wondered. They went right inside the tomb. There was a young man dressed in a white robe. Don't be afraid, he said. You were looking for Jesus, but you will not find him here. He is alive. Go and tell all his friends. The women ran away from the tomb as the sun rose higher in the sky on that new morning. Then and now the friends of Jesus sing hallelujah to hear this news. Hallelujah, praise God, Jesus is alive. Once long ago, there was a new morning, and hallelujah is its song. So I hope you liked that book as much as I did. And I just wanted to say, even though we won't be together this Easter because of the virus, and you will be at home, I just wanted to say that I will miss you, um, Mother Storm, uh, Dakota, um, Dr. Lewis, we will all miss you and we love you and we want you to have a very special, special, blessed Holy Week and a lovely Easter.